According to a report, there is an estimated global population of approximately 2 trillion bees, comprising around 20,000 unique species. These bees serve a crucial ecological function by pollinating plants. However, their ability to inflict painful stings often leads people to flee upon encountering them. It is widely believed that bees perish after stinging, but is this claim accurate? Furthermore, are their stings hazardous? Contrary to popular belief, it is not universally true that a bee will die after stinging. While certain bees do indeed perish, others do not. In fact, not all species of bees possess the ability to sting at all. It is specifically the honeybee that meets its demise upon stinging. This is due to the fact that only female bees have stingers, which are actually modified ovipositors or tubular organs used by female insects to deposit their eggs. Why do bees die when they sting? In general, honeybees do not meet their demise when stinging other insects. The stinger can typically penetrate the relatively thin exoskeleton of insects and be withdrawn without causing harm to the bee. However, the scenario changes when a honeybee stings a mammal, particularly a human. The human skin is significantly thicker compared to an insect's exoskeleton. When a honeybee stings a mammal, it undergoes a distressing fate. The structure of the bee's stinger prevents it from being pulled out without self-amputation once it pierces human skin. The stinger resembles a hollow, hypodermic needle with a pointed tip. It consists of two sets of lancets or serrated blades, arranged in a barbed fashion that resembles the shape of a harpoon. When a bee delivers a sting, the stinger functions similarly to a screw anchor firmly embedding itself into the target. It is unable to retract once inserted. As the bee attempts to extract the stinger, its lower abdomen ruptures, leaving the stinger embedded while dragging out a trail of digestive material, muscles, glands, and a venom sac. Consequently, a visible gap forms at the end of the abdomen. While the honeybee may survive for several hours following the sting, it eventually succumbs to fluid loss and failure of internal organs. Why do honeybees choose to sting despite the fatal consequences? Honeybees, like many other bee species, are rather timid when they are away from their hive and lack any protective measures. There are two main circumstances that can lead a bee to sting, provocation and proximity to its nest. The act of provoking a bee involves actions such as grabbing or squishing it, leaving the bee with no option to escape. Alternatively, if one venture too close to the bee's home nest, it may perceive it as a threat and respond with a sting. When a bee stings, it releases a blend of alarm pheromones from a gland located near its stinger. These pheromones that smell like bananas act as a signal to other bees in the hive, triggering a heightened state of agitation. In response, the alerted bees will open their mandibles, extend their stingers, and aggressively sting anything that comes near them. This collective defensive behavior is aimed at protecting the hive and ensuring the safety of the colony. Are bee stings a cause for concern? Bee stings are more bothersome than perilous. They tend to be painful and irritating, but not inherently dangerous for most individuals. It is estimated that the average non-allergic person can tolerate approximately 10 bee stings per pound of body weight, and a majority of people can withstand up to 1,000 stings. The pain resulting from bee stings can be attributed to melitin, an acidic compound present in their venom that activates pain receptors. Additionally, histamines released in response to the sting often cause some degree of swelling. However, for individuals with allergies, bee stings can pose a significant risk and in rare cases, even prove fatal. People with severe allergies may experience life-threatening complications within an hour of being stung, typically due to respiratory dysfunction or anaphylaxis. It's important to note that such severe reactions occur in approximately 1% of cases, usually among adults aged 40 or older who have been stung on the head or face. While these occurrences may sound alarming, they are relatively uncommon. Have you been stung by a bee before? If yes, how would you describe the sensation or feeling? Let us know in the comment section. Shout out to. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.